let me know under the comment section i shared this video with you a youtuber make a video in ghana saying that people are Ghanaians. most Ghanaians have been experiencing racism and he did not believe it on until he experienced so, it i mean even just yesterday i am in europe so i i, I sat in the bus the the seat was four four a uh, two two at the left and two at the right so i sat in one and nobody wanted to sit beside me they were all standing because the seats were four so people would sit and face each other and nobody wanted to sit beside me i didn't care about that because i'm in their land and they are fun of doing that so i was not hurt but i will be very hurt when i experience racism in africa on a black man's land you know, of late, a lot of these um, white people will visit Africa, will visit Ghana. And, you know, they, they, they don't want to do anything with black people. Why am I saying this? Sometimes they'll go to a restaurant. They don't want you to sit beside them. They, they, they want to have an apartment where no black stays. They want their children to go to the school where there will be no blacks sitting beside them. And these are some of the things that some white people, I mean the tourists who goes to Ghana, most of them, that is how they treat black people. Most, a lot of them are very friendly and some are also very naughty. This guy said he uh, approached um, one white man that he just wants to talk to. Maybe if you are not ready to talk to me, excuse me, I'm not ready. But they will just snub you. They will, they, they, they will just, I like, mean, give you an attitude, insult you. I mean, they will distance themselves. They don't want to do anything with you. But you are in my land. You are in black man's land. You want to, you want to discriminate. I mean, you want to, you want to, you want to use your racism on me. I mean, how? We need to speak up. We need, we have to speak up. Let's go and listen to what this guy said. Racism exists in Ghana. Racism is happening in Africa. No matter where you are, you'll be discriminated against. What are we supposed to do as Ghanaians? What are you supposed to do as Africans? Should we sit down for these people to show racial discrimination against us in our own land? I received messages from people telling me that they have been discriminated against in the U.S., in the state. But I never thought that I personally would be discriminated against in Ghana. Well, maybe it was destined to happen. In as much as it was destined, I don't subscribe to this thing. I don't subscribe to this thing. But today is one of the saddest days in my life. I started this whole content creation to tell the narrative of Africa, but I started from an entertainment. And now I am in my course. I mean, I called my camera guy that eh, we have to come to Labadi Beach and come and shoot content to continue about the narrative, to meet people and interview them. I've met a whole lot of people. I've met so many people. But something has happened today of which I am very, very sad and I never expected it. It's not easy to come out with content, okay? And we try to approach people before we shoot that kind of content. So I approached this man. There were actually four people standing there and I approached him, hey, my name is, and I'm a Ghanaian, I'm a travel YouTuber, blah, blah, blah. That person didn't even allow me to say anything. At least you should have listened to me that, hey, gentlemen, what do you want? Let me tell you what I, what I want. If you're not interested, you tell me that I'm not interested. But as soon as he saw me that I am black, he didn't even listen to me. Then he just this. Growing up, I've had this perception that or I've had this factual thing that racism exists in the Western countries. But I never had the belief that racism exists in Ghana, on my continent. This is very sad. I started this whole content creation in three years ago. I've had a conversation with Moa from Sweden, Lydia from UK. I've had a conversation with Erica also from UK. Just recently had a conversation with Chess and Chance from the UK. I've also had a conversation with um, um, a whole lot of people also from the Germany. But all of them have never discriminated against me. I don't know you watching me right now. I don't know whether you have been, you have been discriminated against in your own country. I mean, my uncle lives in the, in the States. We have a conversation regarding racism in the United States. He educates me and, I, and I'm aware. 
but we've never had a conversation regarding a Ghanaian who has been discriminated against in his own country. What saddens me that the black people, okay, that do escort the same people when they come into the country, are supposed to tell the people like, hey, this is an African brother, this is what he's doing. He's trying to know your perception about Ghana, he's trying to know your perception about the continent. Whether what you're experiencing right now is what the Western world they say about Ghana. And this is what I'm after. I'm not about saying any negative content about any regional country. I'm so much confused. I am so much confused. You can listen to what Erica was saying. I didn't know that much about Ghana before coming here and that was also part of the reason why I wanted to go so I could learn more. But uh, people said that, uh, yeah, uh, Ghanaians are friendly and it's a very like open and social people uh, so I was excited about that because Swedes are known to be very uh, introverted and boring so <laughs> it was fun and I was uh, yeah pleasantly sur uh, surprised everyone's so so nice here so yeah you can even listen to what Charles was saying well, actually it's quite easy to travel around Ghana um, providing you uh, you you know make relationships with the locals and that you employ local people to to help you travel around i.e drivers um, or guides um, and I think I would definitely recommend it. I think it's a wonderful place. All these people were welcoming people that I felt that, you know what, let me go to this aspect of content creation and let me speak to them. People who do watch my channel, they'll know that I've switched from this normal entertainment to this normal tourism. I did that because of the positivity of the hospitality of what I was receiving. But hey, today, in the month of April, I am so sad. I am super sad. I mean, I don't expect that things will go on 100%. No. But for that thing to have happened in my own continent, it's one of the serious topics that we could ever talk of. Even so guys, after listening to um, the guy, what do you make of what he said? I remember one video that, I don't know whether it was Zambia or what, that they have um, a Chinese restaurant which there's no black person working there, only their people are working there, and they don't allow black people to, to, to enter the restaurant. Meanwhile, the restaurant is on the land of Africa. I mean, on the land of black people, but they don't want any black person to enter that restaurant or either to work there. And they have mounted... Um, um, china flag without a without that country flag on or at the restaurants <laughs> without um, um that country flag at the restaurant so these are some of the things that is going on in africa and in ghana this is very pathetic i mean at this era at the 21st century you you go to africa you you visit ghana and <laughs> anyway, that is what I came to share with you. Let me know under the comment section if you have experienced this in, in your motherland before. And comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe. We are on our way to 3K. We can do that. We can do that. So I'll see you on my next content. Bye-bye.